Hi, I'm Dennis, the Grumpy Bavarian. Today, I want to show you how to perform the dime test on both the tilt head mixer and the bow lift mixer over here. You might be asking, what the heck is a dime test? And why should we ever perform such a thing? Great question. The dime test determines if the distance between your beater and the bottom of your bowl is set to 1 16th of an inch, because that is the sweet spot that is recommended by KitchenAid. And a dime, a dime just happens to be exactly 1 16th of an inch thick. Coincidence? Who knows? Let's drop the dime in the bowl and see what we see. If you have less space than 1 16th of an inch, your beater is likely scraping the bottom of your bowl, potentially scratching the paint of the beater and scratching the bowl or causing your tilt head to move quite a bit. And it might add unnecessary stress to the motor. You can see here that the beater is moving the dime constantly, which means it is sitting just too low. If you have more than 1 16th of an inch between beater and bowl, the beater might not be able to get all the ingredients, leaving a layer of flour or sugar or whatnot on the bottom of the bowl. You can see here that the beater isn't moving the dime at all, indicating that it is sitting too high. Okay, so how do we adjust our beater to bowl distance? On this mixer, lift up the tilt head and find the screw that is sitting right where the head meets the base of the mixer. You will need a flathead screwdriver to adjust it and you should only turn the screw in small increments. I would say 90 degrees or a quarter turn at the most. Turning the screw to the right will lower the beater, turning it to the left will raise the beater. It might take a little time for you to find the perfect height because you will have to do a test run every time you turn that screw, but let me show you what we're after here. You want your beater to move the dime just a little bit every time it passes by, half an inch at the most on each rotation. Okay. Now let's put this mixer back over here and get that bow lift mixer and I'll show you where to find the adjustment screw in that. You will have to make sure that the bow lift is all the way in the low position to reveal the screw. There it is. The rest of the procedure is just about the same. Keep adjusting until you find the perfect height. Please note that it is always a good idea to unplug the stand mixer when adjusting the screw in case you accidentally turn on the mixer. I'm just saying safety third, safety second and first. And that's how we count in Germany. One, two, three, four, five. That's, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. I don't know why. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. Have fun adjusting. And if you're looking for more tips, tricks, reviews, and gadgets for your KitchenAid stand mixer, please hit the subscribe button and head over to bavarikin.com and check out our slide kicks so you can move your mixer in style. Dankeschön. Auf Wiedersehen.